Right now at six, one of the best figure skaters in the world calls the Elm City home. In fact, Olympic gold medalist Nathan Chen studies and trains at Yale. And tonight in this Channel 3 exclusive, Stephanie Simone found out he is not ruling out another Olympic run. What a guy, Steph. Incredible, Mark and Aaron. He started skating at just three years old. 20 years later, he is powerful and confident on the ice, even known as the Quad King. But underneath that crown, you'll find he is warm and humble, a reason why fans will wait outside in the cold just to meet him. In cozy, quiet Madison, excitement builds outside of RJ Julia's bookstore. Just look at that line. He's so inspiring. She's talking about the Quad King. He earned that nickname when he became the first skater to land five quadruple jumps in one program. Some consider him to be the best male figure skater in the world. But if you ask him his title? Just Nathan is great. Okay. <laughs> the humble yet extremely talented and hardworking Nathan Chen took gold in the last Olympics, won three world champions, and now... That's exciting. He can add author to his resume, but like a true overachiever, he didn't stop at one book. First, the memoir, One Jump at a Time. A really great reflection on my time in skating as well as, you know, through the two Olympics and the two uh, different experiences that I had at the Olympics. Then, a children's book. Way loved figure skating. Way skates on. What would young Nathan have wanted to see when he was a kid and what would have been hopefully inspiring for a little version of myself? There's always going to be ups and downs, but uh, learning how to sort of push through the hardships and uh, be able to fall back on your team of people that love and support you um, is really important. Okay. <laughs> when he's not taking pictures with fans at book signings or training, he's working on his degree at Yale. He's set to graduate next year. I'm really excited to finish off this year and, and head into my senior year. Uh, but my time here has been awesome and really enjoyed being here in Connecticut. So after two Olympics, will he go for a lucky number three in 2026? Well, let's just say he's not ruling it out. Right now I still have a year and a half of school, so that's my focus. And then once I get past that, you know, there'll still be two years before Milan. So um, then I'll, you know, take some time and think about where I'm at and uh, what my future goals are. All right, so he didn't quite answer that question. Now, since he has lived in New Haven for a few, few years now, we had to ask him his favorite pizza place, and he says bar. It's very close to his residence hall, and it's very good. 70s to Money, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. A lot of people do like it there, that's for <laughs> sure, Steph. Thank you, and what a great guy.